Hello guys, this is j5tech.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to unlock ZTE MF9 to serving you to support any SIM card. Let me show you the modem in case some of you are doubting. Uh, this is the modem MF9 to serving you and also note that this method is not an unlock code method where you'll be given a code to insert and unlock your modem. It's an unlock file. You can use it to unlock yours. Uh, the first thing to do is you need to put your computer in test mode. If you're using Windows 10, you need to put set uh, test mode. To put test mode to uh, to enable test mode on your computer, you need to open CMD, go to CMD, and right click, run CMD as administrator. Uh, this is the code for enabling test mode. You paste test mode here. This is BCD edit dash set test mode sign in or test signing on. Uh, you hit on enter. You can see already I've already enabled test mode on my computer. It is down here. You can see it. Uh, the same thing if you need to disable test mode, you just need to type the same code. But here you need to write off, off, and hit enter. But not that to disable test mode, you need to restart your computer. And after doing that, the second thing you need to do is install your modem's driver. I will give you the link in the description of this video. Uh, let me show you. You can see when you go to manage, go to device manager. You can see already I do not have anything here, but my modem is already connected to this computer. You need to use USB cable to connect to your modem and make sure your modem is switched on. After doing that, you go to the file. I will give you the file in this description of this video. And open the folder. You will find out there is SCSI. Then you open it. If you open it and go back to device manager, you will see what will happen. Your modem will be converted into a T mode. Okay. What you need to do here is right click on this one and update driver. You click on browse and go to the folder where, where the modem is where the files is downloaded mine is here uh, sorry not like this you click on let me pick then you click on next then you click on half disk then you click browse then you will be taken to you'll be taken to browse folder and this is the folder where i've downloaded the driver you open the driver folder you open this and you click on this zx ice serial then you click on ok you see AT interface will be installed then click on next and install driver you wait for it for a few seconds to install okay this is installed you close this and go to the second one right click update driver browse my computer let me pick Click on next, click on half disk, browse, then open the same driver you opened the last time. But this time around, you're not going to install AT interface. You should scroll down and look for lock interface and click on next. Allow to install. Okay. Now our drivers are installed. Then we can close this. Then the next thing to do is here is the unlock file. What this unlock file does is it will only unlock your modem. It will not change your dashboard, web UI. It will not do anything. If you need to convert your web UI to a generic ZTE web UI, you need to use this file. So I will launch this file, run as administrator and allow it. Okay, once you get here, you copy this hardware ID and send it to me so that I can generate serial keys for you. The key gen is not general for everybody. You'll need to send your hardware ID for me so that I can give you the serial key. I've already generated mine. Let me show you. You can copy this here. Copy this and paste here. Then copy the key here and paste here. Then click on register. Then click on OK. Okay, let me show you. Okay, you see my mine is connected already because it's in AT mode. You see, 
if yours is connected it will show you the name of your modem here and it will show you ready then the next thing to do is just click on update you should know that if your modem is not connected it will just keep on searching and you will not be able to click here to update then after connecting it then after detecting it just click on download here this button you need to wait for a few seconds your modem will restart simultaneous time before it will finish flashing okay mine is detected okay you can see it's in 99 percent yours could also get stuck in 99 percent and sometimes it will flash to 100 percent successfully it depends if it is in 99 percent for few minutes like 5 to 10 minutes it is still in 99 percent you can just close the software and check your modem status it will unlock but let's wait for mine and see if it will get to 100 percent Okay, now it is in 100% and it says download success. Then click on OK and it will close automatically. And the next thing to do is since our modem is now unlocked, we need to exit the AT mode and lock interface. And to do that, you need to res reset your modem. Let me show you. There is a uh, reset button on your modem you see this tiny hole you need to look for a small object that you'll be able to reset it use it to press the reset button let me show you and also while doing that you need to leave your modem connected to computer and you'll need to hold the reset button for 10 seconds at least to exit AT mode and without that without doing that your modem will not be detected and you will not be able to use the modem's internet or open web UI. Now I'm going to disable mine. Okay. You can see now my modem is disabled. Is now in normal mode let me show you when you come here you can see it's now it will now be detected as in normal mode so that I can be able to open the dashboard let me show you, you can see network is available now click on yes alternatively I can open dashboard using the dashboard IP address 192.168.0.1 hit on enter the default password for dashboard is admin okay you can see my modem is an is an MTN modem but it's now in glow LCE so that means mine is unlocked if you need to check your modems uh, Wi-Fi password need to go to settings and when you come here you can see display password this is my modem's password this is my modem network ssid and this is how i can discover this is the name i can discover mod my modem with on other devices if you want you can change yours if you want you can change password okay that is all for unlocking your zmf 927u if you have any question or you need any assistance, don't forget to contact me using the contact link in the description of this video. Thank you for watching. J5Tech.net.